Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Alright, so the first point is important for knowing what to expect going into it. Because it can be a lot otherwise, and I'm going to show you exactly what I mean at the end of this point. As I mentioned in the last video, this is a very scientific degree, and the subjects are hard because they're at a university level. Especially if you haven't been exposed to scientific subjects in the past. One of you actually left a comment in my last video, um, letting me know how surprised you were at the intensity of the science subjects as well. So here are all the science subjects that are included in this degree at the Endeavour College of Natural Health, which is where I was studying this degree. If you want to get a better look at that, you can go to the website and just download it for free, or you can just pause this video. If you're worried about finances, this point is going to be really important to you, so make sure you listen to the whole thing. Because this degree is not offered at government-funded universities, the tuition fees are a lot higher. This is an obvious downfall, and it may be what contributes to people wanting to do diplomas of naturopathy over degrees, which in my opinion is a bit problematic, and I'll be talking about that later on. Most people in Australia use fee help to pay their fees, which is basically the government paying your tuition, and it's expected that at some point in your life you'll pay it back with interest. Even though they don't like to call it interest, I think they like to call it a loan fee. But anyway, it's 25% of every single unit that you apply to your fee help loan. And you also have to include yearly indexation on top of that. For those of you who don't know, indexation is where your fee is increased based on inflation and the cost of living. And it happens every year. And this is, they say, to maintain its real value. But I really hate it. Indexation gets applied to your debt after 11 months. And your debt or loan accumulates each time you enroll in a unit, which is a subject. So I believe every time the cost of a unit is added, you have to pay off that unit unit within 11 months to avoid indexation. Hopefully that wasn't too technical but it's important to consider and I had no idea about any of that and I really wish I did. Also something really important is that there is actually a limit to how much you can borrow from fee help. Unfortunately the interest or loan fee and indexation added to your loan debt isn't applied to how much you can borrow. So the amount you can borrow will only go down as much as the cost of your units are and nothing else. Alright moving on. So this one is really important if you're concerned about study life balance and I have a horror story to go along with this one so make sure you stick around if you you want to hear the end of that. If you've ever done any sort of higher education in the past, you'll know that four subjects is full time. At my college, you have to study more than four subjects in order to be deemed full time, especially if the university or college has made some subjects half the normal amount of credit points than a normal subject would be. So this ends up meaning that you have to pick up another subject or sometimes two subjects in order to cover the other half of the credit points, if that makes sense. Okay, so here comes the horror story. I got into trouble with this because I had been to previous universities where four subjects was the max you could do and four was considered full-time. When I started studying naturopathy I was enrolled in their recommended program which put me through five to six subjects a semester instead of four. The minimum amount of time it can take you to complete this degree is four years and that is only if you're doing five or six subjects every single semester. But I was really struggling with the amount of work that was so I dropped down to four subjects thinking I was still full-time. My commute was three hours into the city and three hours back so there literally weren't enough hours in the day for me to also have a job. So I was relying on government payments at the time which requires you to be full-time. I guess you can see where this is going. Long story short, the government called me up one day to tell me that I wasn't full-time and I thought it was a big mistake. I thought they were probably just doing the rounds and we're just gonna have a quick discussion. They'll discover that I actually am full-time and move on with their day. But that wasn't the case. It turns out that I wasn't actually full-time and they issued me with a debt that meant that I'd have to pay back an entire year's worth of payments. As you can imagine, I had a massive breakdown. So please don't make the same mistake I did. You'd think that the subjects that are granted less credit points are less difficult but actually it just corresponds to the amount of in-class hours. It is a genuine downfall in this degree and I just want you to be aware of this. Four subjects is already really intense, ask any other full-time student but five to six subjects per semester is enough to, it could break a person's psyche. This point is a little bit personal and so is the fifth one. If you're an anxious type like me, it might be uncomfortable to realize that a lot of people don't know what naturopathy is. The term and the pronunciation is a little bit weird. Some people mistakenly pronounce it naturopathy and some people don't even know what a naturopath is either. So it can feel a little bit discouraging, might be the word, to have to explain it to people all the time. And naturally, you wanna kind of make your degree sound interesting and worthwhile. And for me at least, the pressure of kind of having to pitch your degree or career choice was a little bit anxiety provoking but that could just be me I know that some people find that kind of thing fun this next point is one that actually kind of changed me as a person and the next point after this is the most important point when I first started studying naturopathy I had no idea how controversial the topic and career choice was to certain groups of people
people. And the disrespect that I received on occasion from personal health professionals and from some of the adults in my life was a bit of a shock and it was uncomfortable to experience. I had to adapt pretty quickly to be ready to receive judgment and condescension and to kind of find tactful and mature ways to respond. I am grateful for the exposure to the kind of polarizing arguments around naturopathy because ultimately it's allowed me to refine my own understanding and opinions on the topic. And this person who commented on my previous video said something similar at the end of their comment and I really appreciate them sharing that too. And as a result of that, I do actually have a lot of opinions on naturopathy now. Okay, this is the final point and make sure you hear me out all the way to the end because this one definitely is going to impact your life if you're considering studying this degree. This is actually the main reason I stopped studying naturopathy. And yes, you heard me right. If you haven't heard me say it before, I didn't finish my degree. The next video I put out will be explaining why I quit my degree in naturopathy. So if you want to see that video, be sure to hit subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want to get notified for my next video. Realistically, it's hard to gain financial stability by relying on this alone. And a lot of you have asked me about this in my previous video, so I wanted to address it because it is actually the most important point. And like I said, it's the reason why I stopped studying this degree. It's hard to establish a client base without spending a lot of money on marketing which most people don't have or building your social media accounts and doing online consultations this is because job advertisements for naturopaths are few and far between in general the main places you're going to find jobs are in health food stores in natural health clinics or pharmacies and it's just hard to come by because there just aren't many around and there isn't a huge demand especially if you live outside the city naturopaths are also expensive to see and don't have a huge presence in mainstream society so most people just don't even consider them and with that in mind it's important to acknowledge the combination of having an expensive degree which most people will go into debt for and not really having a reliable career path it's discouraging and stressful because how do you pay back this unusually high tuition fee and even if we ignore that entirely what sort of life can you provide for yourself after four intensive years of study or more if you decide to do full-time or drop down to four subjects per semester is the time effort tears and money really worth it if you're not actually going to be able to develop a reliable career afterwards if you have any questions because you're thinking about studying naturopathy leave them in the comments below I will respond to every single one and if you're feeling it consider liking and subscribing hit the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of my other content I'll see you in the next video bye